Determine the mass flow rate of an axisymmetric plume with a convective heat release rate of 5,000 kilowatts. The fire size is 4 meters by 4 meters and the clear layer height is 17.5 meters. And the room has got two entrances. Now, first of all, we know it's an axisymmetric plume, but not whether it's a near field or a far field model. And this is the first thing you need to do. And the rule is that if the clear layer height is greater than the longest dimension of the source times five, then it's a far field model. If not, it's a near field model. Now, in this case, the clear layer height is 17.5 meters. Now, five times the longest dimension of the source, which is five times four is 20. In this case, the clear layer height is not, is not greater than five times the S, and so it's classified as a near field model. Now, here's the model available for the axisymmetric plume. M smoke equals CE, which is the coefficient of entrainment, times P, which is the perimeter of the source, times Z to the power of 1.5, which is the clear layer height. Now, to apply this model, you've got to determine the coefficient to apply, which one to apply. And there's three options available. You've got 0.19, you've got 0.21, or you've got 0.34. Now, if it's classified as a small room, small room parameter, then you're going to use 0.34 as your coefficient. So how do you determine that whether or not it's classified as a small room? Well, in this case, rooms are considered small when the maximum room dimension, the maximum room dimension is less than or equal to five times the diameter of the design fire size. And, and the second parameter is, the air can only come in from one direction. So that's the parameters, air from one direction. So in this case, we know we're not using 0.34 as a coefficient because air can come in from more than one entrance. Let's look at the other coefficients. Now, like I said, there's two more. There's 0.19 and there's 0.21. If the clear layer height is greater than three times the longest dimension of the source, you use 0.19. If not, you use 0.21. That's the rule. Now, in this case, the clear layer height is 17.5 metres. The longest dimension of the source is 4 metres, so 3 times 4 is 12. Therefore, it's larger. So the clear layer height at 17.5 metres is larger than 3 times the longest dimension of the source. And so, this is a far field model, and you apply 0.19. So you should have put this in the formula, and you should have got this. M smoke equals 0.19 times. You got 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, which is your perimeter of your fire source times that by 17.5 to the power of 1.5, it should have given you 222.55 kilograms a second. That is the mass flow rate.